very much. So I forgot to talk about this on the podcast this morning. A couple goals I have set up for this week. Goal number one, I want to hit 650 members by the end of the week. This actually was my goal last week. And you know what? We did hit it, but then 50 members expired. So now we're down to 608, right? So that's my goal for the end of the streaming week to hit 650 members. That would be goal number one, okay? <clears throat> goal number two is to hit the tier one tips goal, hopefully on every stream. Now, it doesn't have to be every single stream. As long as we're hitting it, mostly or every once in a while but that's the problem last week was that we had several streams where it was like one stream i'd hit a tier one tips goal and then the night the, the night stream would be completely dead with no support and that's what was actually hurting really bad last week so as long as i could be hitting like tier one tips goals frequently then we're good all right so thank you in advance to anyone who supports thank you to dan the man for your five dollar tip in fact that indeed is the biggest tip so far today so let's get that up on the leaderboard here <clears throat> So far, Lies of P has gotten a really good support. I'm hoping that will will keep up because it is a challenging game. You guys like to see me get my butt kick, kicked, which I am. You know, it's not an easy game, but uh, I'm persevering, having a good time with it. So hopefully, the support will continue at that level. Okay. <clears throat> so there you there go. You know, like, here'll be a bad place to fight him. I think. Let's get through this way. There it is, the rapid smash. I can't get up. Man, I'm fucked. These things are too tough. They hit me too much. What's the problem? I can't. What the fuck? I can't see. What the hell? I can't see anything. I can't move or see. Great. All right, use the cube. But it didn't do anything. It was supposed to be healing. It didn't do shit. It, the cube did nothing. The cube did nothing. The cube said it was supposed to heal. It didn't give me HP. So what's the point of the cube? Finally. No! I swear I parried it. I can't see. The camera keeps getting stuck in the fucking wall. I'm never gonna kill this guy. I, I fucking parry. Yeah, this is annoying. I'm never gonna kill him. Can't move. I'm done. They're the most. These are actually the most annoying enemy in the whole game right now. These guys right now. That's worse than any boss because the fucking the, the every attack is a stagger. Every attack is slow, and and you can't really parry it well. And then if he hits you, he has follow up attack. Giant damage. I wasn't expecting the third hit. I was going to heal, and then I was going to go use the cube and come right back. That's So far, I'm doing insane damage to it. If you didn't notice, I'm doing really good damage to it. It's just a matter of not getting hit by a million things. I, I still can't see. How can I do anything when I can't see what's going on?
Well, I wasn't bad, right? It seems like when he's there, you can just stand under him and he swings a lot and misses a ton. If I can just get to that second form without losing too much health, right? That'd be fine. I gotta get the parries down. I haven't parried. I literally haven't parried one move. <laughs> I have to, I've parried nothing. <clears throat> Every single thing hit me. So, I feel like if I save the the whetstone for the second half, it'll be better. And I need to, to learn, would you shut up? I know about fucking decay, you can kiss my ass. I just wasted my fucking ability. I missed that long ball, dude. Wow, that sucks ass. I can't see. Again, this boss can't see shit. Oh, I can't use the cube. He interrupted it. Wow, I can never use the cube. I just tried like three times. He interrupted it. The cube is slow as dirt. Yeah, you can see. You oh. It did some kind of a magic attack that completely missed, and then it just sat on me. And I couldn't tell what it was doing because the camera was inside of it. <laughs> the magic completely missed, and then he's just like, I'll just sit down. I couldn't tell what's happening. Oh, now I'm dead. So it looks like during the second phase you could fight either side. But if you fight <clears throat> if you fight the side with the guy that's with the snake or whatever, the, the archbishop, it's very hard to hit him because he's above you. And even if he misses you with his attack, you can't really do much. On the other side, you can keep poking it. <clears throat> so that's just what I'm going to do, right? I did the special attack, he just interrupted it while I tried to do it, and then he freaking hit me right again after when I had no hell. Like So you always have to have an opening. He has super armor. And we'll just you basically can't really stagger him unless you hit him like four thousand times. I thought maybe the super attack would like have a little bit of a uh, stance to it. I received a twenty dollar tip from one minute man. There it is. I was like it's like not loading and then it loaded. Cool. So with that tip. Thank you so much, One Minute Man, as always, for your support of the channel and the content. We are at $44 in tips, very close to the Tier 1 tips goal. <clears throat> Remember, my goal is to hit Tier 1 every stream. That's my goal. Okay? So, it would be great if you were thinking of tipping sooner rather than later so we could have gunner glasses and hit that one and lock it in. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much to One Minute Man. Uh, so much every day, man. Your, your support is very, very appreciated. Just to stretch my legs before we continue. There's an enemy over there. I just want to stretch my legs before we continue. But thanks for being a great audience. If you could, uh, if you could support the stream in some way today, I'd appreciate it. Liking the stream is one way to do it. Super chats are another. Memberships are another, and tips are another. My goal by the end of this week is 650 members. My goal for each stream is to hit the tier one tips goal. We're six bucks away. So if you wanted to support the stream, tipping would be a great way to do it to hit that goal. Outside of that, anything would be great. Right now we have zero new members so far this week. It would be great to get some of those as well. Hold on one second while I just stretch. Ooh.
Bring back Cooking with the King? Absolutely not. Guys, if you are enjoying Lies of P, please let me know. Like the videos, leave some comments, let me know what you think of the playthrough, and if you're enjoying the game. I they still think it's outstanding. I still don't have a single complaint. I'm serious. I love the game. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. <clears throat> Scribbles of a slum resident. Everything changed after the doctor spread the blue medicine. I buried my brother. I don't even know it was my brother. Who is the doctor? Whose blue hair... Is it in his cane? I just received a $6 tip from an anonymous tipper. Thank you, whoever that was. And that means we have hit the tier one tip skull for today's stream. And I appreciate that. Anything further is also greatly appreciated, well, obviously. Remember when I criticized that and I said, how many gamers do you realistically think play video games because they expect a money investment to pay off at the end? We're playing it for engagement and fun. We're not playing as a money investment because there's something in life you could actually do. I don't know if you guys heard about this. There's a little concept, okay? You ready for this? There's a concept out there. I don't know if you've heard of it yet that you can actually do something like some kind of task uh, or work and you could actually earn pay for it. I don't know if you've heard for this yet that you could actually put in some kind of effort into some kind of a practice or, 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 or you know, and then you get actual monetary compensation after the fact for what you've done it's called a job and that's what you should do if you want to make money you get a job you don't play video games and try to sell nfts based on what you earn you actually get a job a guaranteed employment opportunity where you'll be paid for what you work for you understand people don't play video games to earn fucking money playing them <laughs> what the fuck were these idiotic game developers thinking i don't know but of course, it's not just game development. I'm I'm just saying, uh, I'm just saying that you know it's ridiculous that game developers were actually going.